Okay, so um, it's really a pleasure uh, to organize this uh, conference today uh, uh, with Huawei. So, uh, uh, <coughs> so probably the first talk will be given by Francis uh, instead of Cédric, because uh, Cédric uh, is uh, at uh, France Inter uh, speaking about his new book. So he will be at, uh, 15 minutes uh, late, so maybe we just uh, change the two first talk. Okay, so uh, uh, I would like to say uh, uh, a very few things about uh, IHES. So uh, uh, I don't know if it's the first time uh, for you here. Uh, so uh, IHES was uh, Founded uh, uh, more than so 57 years ago, something like this, and uh, we are in Bourg-sur-Yvette uh, uh, for since uh, 60, uh, 52 years, and uh, the idea was to build a, a scientific institute uh, on the model of uh, the Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton. And uh, we had the chance to have uh, very high-level uh, uh, professors uh, from the start, including uh, uh, Grotendik, uh, Deligne, uh, René Tom. And uh, so uh, uh, around these uh, small numbers of uh, uh, professors, we uh, host a, a huge program of visitors. So we have uh, more than uh, uh, 200 uh, visitors uh, every year and uh, coming, say, for uh, an average of two months and a half. And uh, so uh, at any time, we maybe there, there are uh, 50 uh, scientists uh, uh, at the Institute. So uh, uh, IHS is a... Uh, a little bit unique in uh, France because uh, it's a private company and, uh, and uh, somehow uh, uh, we have a status of being in the interest of the public. So uh, half of our budget is coming from the government and we uh, uh, have to find support for the rest of our budget. and. Uh, uh, for this reason, we had to discuss with uh, a lot of uh, institutions in Europe, like uh, EPSRC, uh, Swiss Fund, uh, Max Planck Gesellschaft, or the NSF in the US. But we have also to have contact with uh, companies. And uh, uh, um, during uh, the last... Uh, uh, 20 years, uh, several companies uh, helped us uh, a lot, uh, including uh, uh, the, the Group AXA, the, uh, the Schlumberger, uh, uh, who um, founded uh, the Cher Schlumberger here, uh, uh, and uh, other uh, institutions. Uh, and uh, I think that. Uh, Maybe six or seven years ago, uh, IHS started to have contact with Huawei. And uh, we never stopped uh, uh, this contact. And uh, uh, Huawei supported us the uh, first time uh, uh, five, uh, maybe five years ago. And maybe I'm, I'm not sure. And uh, recently, uh, uh, Huawei decided to... Uh, create uh, a very uh, active uh, research center uh, in Paris, or near Paris. And uh, <coughs> at this uh, uh, occasion, um, uh, we, we had a lot of uh, discussion, including with uh, Merwan and uh, a lot of people from uh, uh, Huawei. And uh, uh, after... Uh, uh, this discussion, Huawei decided to help us uh, a lot, and uh, we uh, uh, 
we thought that the nicest way to organize our collaboration was uh, to organize um, uh, conferences like the one uh, we are uh, uh, running today. So uh, I hope that uh, around these uh, talks uh, there, there will be a lot of discussions between uh, people from Huawei and uh, scientists uh, who are just attending the, the conference. And uh, I'm, I, I really want to wish you uh, very good luck for what you are starting to develop and it's a very ambitious project. So uh, uh, I, I think you are starting something which may be important and uh, so I wish you uh, the best for all of this. So uh, uh, I would like to add that it was very nice for me to uh, organize the conference with Merwan and uh, it was quite easy and uh, uh, I would like to thank you for this. Okay, so first of all, I'm, I'm very happy uh, that uh, Yeshu has uh, hosted this event here and also for the organization of this workshop and getting uh, the best speakers within the Paris uh, region. Um, as you know, um, France has uh, one of the highest rank of, uh, I would say, uh, or highest concentration of mathematicians and Paris has also the highest concentration of mathematicians around the world. And um, Huawei uh, acknowledged that, and it's one of the reasons um, this mathematical and algorithmic sciences lab was established in Paris. Um, so for people who are not aware, Huawei is one of the leading companies in the ICT business. Uh, we are in the carrier business, what they call base stations, and what we sell for operators. Also, um, uh, we're also leading in the handset business. Um, I think uh, now um, you're, at least I think you got now a Huawei phone. I saw it. Yeah. <laughs> but in any case, now you've seen in different, I would say, stores uh, our phones, and I think uh, it's going to be increasing in the, in the, in the, in the next, uh, in the next, um, in the next years. And also, we are also in the enterprise business where we sell also our equipments there. Uh, Huawei is a company of around 150,000, 60,000 uh, people, which is a big, and half of that is related to R&D, which makes it a very techno-oriented company. Now, it turns out, as you know, that the company is evolving. Innovation for many companies is the way to go, and Huawei has been heavily investing in that innovation aspect. Uh, it has established this lab for that because it thinks that uh, French mathematicians are the best in the world, and we think that's where the innovation is going to come from there. Now, of course, this is a scientific day. We're going to talk mostly about uh, research aspects and new ideas from uh, uh, great people here. Uh, as you know, we give money to, I would say, institutions like Yeshuaes, of course, to create knowledge. And our business is to invert that process and from knowledge make it money. And of course, this is one of the things uh, um, we are trying to work on. And I hope this collaboration that we started is going to be effective in the next years and going forward. Um, so I hope you're going to enjoy the day. As uh, Emmanuel told you, uh, Cédric Villani is going to be a bit late. I think he's going to come with his uh, motor scooter or something like that, directly from Paris. He's got an interview because he's selling his new book. And uh, of course, uh, Francis Bach uh, accepted to be the first speaker. So I'd like to introduce him and, and so that he starts his, his speech.